If you're planning to have maxillomandibular advancement surgery, I highly suggest that you speak openly with your surgeon and make sure you know exactly what the plan is for what they will be doing to you in that procedure because there are several variations and surgeons are trained differently and you wanna make sure that your goals match with your surgeon's goals and that you're on the same page. Okay, so the MMA procedure has several variations on which you can do on top of it or in conjunction with it. So one of those is counterclockwise rotation. So just a reminder, basic MMA cuts, you're gonna have Lafort one osteotomy across the, the maxilla here. You're gonna have a separation of the pterygomandibular plate. You're gonna have a separation of the nasal septum from the nasal spine, and you're gonna have bilateral sagittal split osteotomy. At that point, you're gonna have free moving portion of the maxilla and the mandible in the front here. So you can manipulate these how you want to. Typical MMA procedure, you're just going to move them forward and then fixate them there with plates and screws. With a counterclockwise rotation, you're going to move them forward and then you're going to rotate them upward in a counterclockwise rotation. Okay, so uh, when you do this, you're going to get opening of the airway as you move forward, but then as you rotate up, you're going to get even more opening of the airway, which is back here behind those bones. Now, how do you know if this part of the procedure is necessary for you? Well, that is based on your occlusal plane angle. Your occlusal plane angle is where your occlusal plane line, so the line that goes through your second molars here and goes straight back, meets with your, this other line here, imaginary line, that goes from the top of your ear canal to the bottom of your orbit. So this imaginary line here. So where those two lines intersect, that is your occlusal plane angle. Normal occlusal plane angle is around eight degrees, plus or minus four degrees. If you have a higher or steeper occlusal plane angle, it'll be reflected in the angle of your mandible. So if this plane is very steep. I'm sure you've all seen people who have a much steeper mandible here. That steeper angle is associated with a more narrow airway, which can be associated with sleep apnea, not always, and also can cause issues with your jaw joints. So if your surgeon and yourself are deciding whether you should have a counterclockwise rotation along with your procedure, this might be something you want to take into consideration uh, when, you're, when you are planning. Uh, this procedure is, is being shown to be just as stable as a typical MMA procedure uh, if you're using proper fixation, uh, if your surgeon is properly trained and has experience in this procedure, that part always matters. And if you have healthy TMJs before going into the procedure. So we know if you're going into the procedure and you have wear on your condyles, so this area of your, of your mandible in the joint, um, if there's already wear on those, those bones and the, the cartilage is already wearing down, it's likely that you will not have as stable of an outcome with this procedure. Uh, because you are changing the angle at which those areas of the joint are accepting forces throughout the day. Uh, and then also having proper orthodontics before and after also shows to be more stable with this procedure. If you have any questions about counterclockwise rotation, please write it in the comment section below or find me at summerspt.com.